In this video, we're going to talk about modified duration, which is a metric for measuring the sensitivity of a bond's price to the yield. Now, if you're saying, hey, this sounds familiar, we talked about Macaulay duration, isn't that measuring a bond's sensitivity to, to changes in interest rates and so forth? Well, actually, modified duration and Macaulay duration, which I've abbreviated here as mod D and MAC D, they're actually equal to each other if you assume that there's continuous compounding of interest. But in most cases, in actual practice, we have periodic compounding of interest. And in those cases, the modified duration is going to be equal to the Macaulay duration divided by what we've got right here, 1 plus y sub k over k. And this y sub k, this is just the yield to maturity. And so the k is the number of periods uh, during which we're compounding this. So let's say it's semi-annual compounding, then this k would be a 2, right? So we're just looking at the yield, and then we're adjusting it for how frequently we're compounding that interest. Because this compounding is really important, because if we were compounding continuously again, then the modified duration of Mac, uh, Macaulay duration would be exactly the same. So it's really just a difference due to how frequently we're compounding the interest. So well, let's, this example is maybe a little abstract. So if we jump in and put some actual numbers on it, it might make it a little easier for you to understand. So let's say that we use the same example we did with the Macaulay duration. We've got a five-year bond, and there's a $1,000 face value on the bond. It's got 4% coupon. So that means based on the $1,000 face value and 4%, we're paying $40 in interest every year, right? Or receiving, depending on how you're looking at it. So now the market rate of interest right now happens to be 4.5%. All of this led to a Macaulay duration of 4.63 years, okay? So that's just a little bit of review in case you hadn't uh, seen that video. Now, we can use our formula from before, right, that we just discussed to compute the modified duration. And so all we're going to do is we're just, we're just going to do a little, little plugging and chugging here. So our Macaulay duration, we've got that right here. That's 4.63 years. So we'll just put 4.63. And then now in the denominator, we've got 1 plus. And so now I, oh, I should have should have made a comment here that we're talking about annual coupon payments. Annual payments. I, my apologies there. I was not specific. So this is annual. Now, we're going to say, okay, that we've got compounding annually. So we've got 1 plus. And then we're going to have our yield, which is just our market rate of interest, right? So that's 0 0.045. And that is going to be divided by our K, which is how often we're compounding. We're compounding once a year, so we're annually. So we're going to divide by 1. And then that's going to give us, if we just bring this out, we're going to end up with 4.63 over 1.045. And then ultimately, let me change colors here for the grand finale. Our modified duration is going to be 4.43. Now, if you're wondering, okay, this is great, but what do we do with this number? Who cares? Why are we even computing this? So let's get into the application. What if there is a 1% increase in the yield? What is going to happen uh, to this bond's price, right? So let's see here, bond's price. That's why we're doing this, right? We're talking about, when we're talking about modified duration, we're talking about how sensitive the price of the bond is to a change in the yield. So let's say that the yield goes up 1%. How can we use this number to, to tell us something about that? So we've got another useful formula. This one's a lot less complicated, but uh, the percentage price change in the bond is going to be equal to negative 1% times the modified duration, which we just computed, right? That's that number. That's why we're going to be using it, times the yield change, right? Which we're given the yield change. So basically, you're given this, this yield change of 1% or 0 0.01, and you've already computed this, and now you can say, well, what's going to happen to the price of the bond? So let's go, and, and we'll plug and chug for this. So we're going to have negative 1 times 4.43. This is just... This We just got this, right? That's just what we calculated, the modified duration. That's where that comes into play, times the yield change. Now, the yield change is 0 
All right, it's a 1% increase, so we just say 0 0.01, and then that's going to equal negative 0 0.0443. Now, how do we interpret that? Well, that's saying that if the yield increases 1%, which is what we're asking about here, right? So if that happens, then the price of the bond is going to go down, right? This is a negative number. It's going to go down. It's going to go down. Uh, we'll put here decrease, price decrease of 4 point, or well, I should say by, price decrease decreases by 4.43%. So by taking that modified duration, we can say, look, we had a 1% increase in the yield. What happens to the bond's price? Well, it's going to go down by 4.43%. So if, if it still isn't intuitive for you, think about it like this. So here we've got our bond prices, and then we've got the yield. So as we look at this curve that we have here, this purple curve, if we were to take the derivative, of this curve, and I'm going to try and draw a straight line there. Uh, I, I know it's not straight, but assume that that's a straight line that we've got right here and that is tangent to that curve, right? So this is the derivative. And so we can say that the modified duration is the derivative of the bond's price with respect to the yield. So a higher modified duration is going to imply that the bond price is going to be more sensitive to changes in the yield. 